Konami has announced their new Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary Edition to be released on April 21st, 2023. This product may look familiar to you. That's because you have seen it before multiple times. Konami first released Legendary Collection, the Binder Edition back in 2010. This binder contained the three God cards, Slifer, Obelisk, and the Winged Dragon of Raw promos, as well as Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, and Red Eyes Black Dragon. It also contained six of Yu-Gi-Oh's first packs ever printed. These packs included Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh's Servant, Dark Crisis, and finally, Invasion of Chaos. This product seems to have been a huge success because only three years later in 2013, Konami decided to print a Legendary Collection Game Board Edition. What is the difference, you ask? There wasn't one. The Game Board Edition had a Game Board type of playmat. These have never really caught on in tournament or even casual Yu-Gi-Oh, but that was really the only difference between this product and its predecessor. Now that has to be the most recent print of these products, right? Not at all. Europe, Oceania, and Germany also released a Game Board Edition five years afterward in September of 2018. And yes, it was the exact same product. So what will be the major differences between these products and Konami's 25th Anniversary Edition? Not a whole lot, but there is one major difference. Each Legendary Collection box will include a Quarter Century Secret Rare as a bonus card to go along with their other promo cards. What will this Quarter Century Secret Rare look like? As of right now, we are not sure, but we may get a sneak preview of the rarity in the OCG's upcoming set, Rarity Collection quarter century edition which releases in february all right guys now that we've discussed the history of these legendary collection products i have a bunch of these legendary collection blisters that we're going to open up it's going to be very similar to what we're going to see in april coming in just a couple of months i also have this promo pack so this is exactly what we're going to get plus the of course 25th anniversary rare i have two of each pack so because of that it's basically like having two legendary collections so we have two Le legend blue eyes two metal raiders Two Spell Ruler here. We have two Pharaoh Servant, two Dark Crisis, which they are reprinting Dark Crisis. We were a little confused about that at first. And then we have two Invasion of Chaos. So all of this is going to be opened and we're going to get a little hyped up about this new product coming out. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Before we actually open everything up, I'm going to be giving away every card we pull in this video. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you're excited about for the 25th anniversary edition. Let's get into it. Let's see. We're going to talk a little bit about some stuff that we don't know about yet, like the 25th anniversary rare. Is it just going to be like the front card in here? Is it going to be like in the packs? Is there going to be a 25th logo on the actual box or anything like that? Or we think it's going to be on the packs. I think they've said that, but we don't actually know about the card. So like, will there be a 25th anniversary down there or something? So we got Obelisk, we got Slifer, Winged Dragon of Raw, of course, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, and then a Red Eyes Black Dragon. I suspect that the next card will be the 25th anniversary rare. Could be at the beginning, but I feel like they put it at the end just to keep the you know suspense up. I'm really excited to see exactly what that rarity looks like. All right, so we are gonna open these up. This is actually another product. This is a repackaged Legendary Collection product. So some people opened up some Legendary Collections and then put it in here. It was probably MJ holding for all, but yep, it was. So there's some extra bonus cards in here. I thought about pulling these out ahead of time, but you never know. If there's a ghost in there, I've said this many times, I want that to be on video. So we've got a bunch of older cards actually uh duels pack yugi first ed we got warrior of atlantis so it's just a couple of rares unfortunately nothing too crazy but a little bit of older cards there here's what we'll be getting we'll be getting stuff like this so we're going to open up all of these we're going to check out what our bonus cards are. So we're gonna do those first. This is something that will not be in the Legendary Collection. There will not be any bonus cards or anything like that. Besides, of course, the 25th Anniversary Rare. So we've got Weather Painter Rain. That's a super rare. Anything crazy out of here? Any Ghost Rares? No, it doesn't look like it. These blisters are a repackaged product by MJ Holding, where they got a hold of a lot of the Legendary Collections, open them up, and then put some extra cards as bonuses so they could resell them as blisters. I once got a Ghost Rare out of one of these, but I didn't record it, so I refuse to not open these on camera. That's why we're fast forwarding and voicing over just in case we actually pull a ghost rare on camera. All right, I have both of our legendary collections split up. We're going to do a mini battle here to see which will be better, but this is what you can expect when you're buying legendary collection 25th anniversary. Plus, of course, that one difference, but not a whole lot different, but this is so fun to open these old school packs. It's going to make them accessible. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it'll be a pretty big success, not because it's majorly different, but because it's the same. I think that's why it's going to have so much success is because people want to see these old stuff that they remember we got a salvage let's see if we can pull something big we got a ladybug ojama yellow balloon lizard we got a dd borderline a lacunga i pulled some amazing stuff out of ioc recently let's see if we can do it right here oh 
<laughs> we can a secret rare right off the bat now this is not the big one in terms of value but hey a secret rare is the highest rarity in these first few packs that is crazy there is an actual misconception on this by the way that i wanted to mention that these are the first six sets in Yu-Gi-Oh. it's not true these are not the first set six sets in Yu-Gi-Oh. the first four the lob mrd mrl and pharaoh servant are the first four sets and then they skip a couple we skip legacy of darkness we skip uh labyrinth of nightmare we skip pharaonic guardian we skip magician's force we go to dark crisis then the next one after that's ioc so they skip several sets there we got ojama delta hurricane let's see if the left side can make a comeback hyper hammerhead we got big koala soul absorption gigantis yellow luster shield anti-aircraft flower chain disappearance can we pull another big card out of ioc i said we had before Oh, we can a strike ninja. I think this is actually better than the secret rare strike ninja. It did have a format at one point where this was like an insane card, but very long ago at this point, but still not a bad pull for the left. These two piles are looking pretty insane. A legendary collection one versus legendary collection two is not too bad. Two, three, four. So far we have hit a foil every time. Hopefully this is what we can expect out of our new legendary collections. Just to pull fire. Keldo, Shinado's Ark, we had Ojama Trio, Despair from the Dark, Desiree Archfiend, Contract of the Exodia, Archfiend Soldier, we have yet to not hit a foil, here we go. All right, Zolga, we jinxed it. So there was nothing in that one. That's okay because we have a lot of packs left. Dark Crisis. I'm really excited for this because it is $31.99 each. So it's not crazy expensive. It is a little bit per pack when you think about it like that. But then if you think about getting a hold of these right now, like before they reprinted it, it was more than that. So should be accessible for almost everyone. We got a Kitetsu, Kelbeck, Arsenal Robber, Dark Scorpion, Gorg the Strong, Ray of Hope. Fear from the dark and Vile Pawn Archfiend. So Vile Pawn, that Dark Crisis was a dud, but that's probably the one you want to be a dud if you had to pick out these six sets. So not too horrible. Pharaoh serving up next. Can we get that Jinzo? You gotta believe. Let's do this. So Jinzo. It had hobby retail split back in the day, but in these reprint packs, you can pull either of the secret rares. So you can still get Genzo. Spike Bob, we got Light of Intervention, Burning Land, Thousand Eyes Idol. Not a bad card. Actually, a couple bucks, I think. So it might be first edition only. Not really sure. Metal Detector, Invent in <laughs> Invitation of a Dark Sleep, Invitation, Invention of a Dark Sleep. We got uh, World's Suppression, Skull Invitation, and limiter removal that is a super rare our first of the video super ultra and secret already all the rarities have been pulled pharaoh servant time can you match it pile number one one two three four let's go the second pile is winning right now we got light of intervention flying kamikiri number two we got zero i actually don't know if they're winning or not we got the dark fire soldier we'll have the totals up on the screen I have truth, bite shoes, driving snow. It's like Lord of the Rings, Mitch Azuri, and a cyber falcon. Cool artwork though. Back in the day, I was like, this is a cool looking card. The cyber falcon, a jet powered hawk that travels at the speed of sound. It's got jet powers. That is really not bad. Spell ruler, pretty close battle. Actually, Strike Ninja could still be winning. I don't know. It depends on if Limiter and uh, Thousand Eyes are, are uh, actually anything, or yeah, Thousand Eyes Idol, I should say. Swap those around. We have Dark Witch. We got a Sonic Bird from Sonic. Psychic Kappa. Curse of Fiend. Slot Machine. Weather Report. Ceremonial Bell. Horn of the Unicorn. And we have Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. Okay, so our second legendary collection versus our first. It's a close battle. This is what you can expect for the upcoming legendary collection 25th anniversary. This sort of thing. I think the ratios will be exactly the same. Some people have speculated on that. I don't think we're going to have a, a symbol down there for the 25th. That's my like guess right now. We don't actually know that for sure. Tiller of the Fickle, but that's what I'm guesstimating. Performance of the Sword. Ega Moon. We got a, ha a Hamburglar recipe. We've got Snake Fang. Minar. Stone Ogre Grotto. Amoeba. And... Delinquent Duo, ultra rare. That is a good one. Delinquent Duo, very strong and annoying card. Knocks two cards out of your hand, so pretty tough. I also kind of mentioned earlier, but these new ones are going to have a 25th logo on them on the outside of the pack. I think it's only going to be the outside of the pack. It could be on the cards as well. I kind of hope that doesn't happen. That'll make them a little weird, a little gimmicky, you know, kind of like the Celebrations Pokemon. There I am, the Pale Beast. Not bad. Rabbit Horseman. Can we get a Pacanio? Have not pulled one yet. Tongyo. I mean, we have an open Metal Raiders, but... Good. Oh, a Pacanio asking you shall receive. The small but deadly creature is better off avoided. No, I don't want to avoid him. I love him. Tremendous Fire. Dragon Piper. Elegant Egotist. And a... 
Tainted Wisdom. I always think this is Ancient Brain, but Tainted Wisdom. That's one that I get mixed up sometimes, and I nailed the Metal Raiders quiz on Sporkle, let me tell you. Two packs to go for the first stack, one pack for the second. Here we go, Metal Raiders, one, two, three, four. We did get a Pequeno, it's gonna be hard to beat that for the first stack. Ancient Elf, Lady Defe, Morinfin, Thunder Dragon, that's actually a couple bucks, big hit. Tremendous Fire, Dragon Piper, Tainted Wisdom, Cannon Soldier, and can we get something big? Seven colored fish, including his lips. Our final two packs of this battle. It's been pretty awesome so far. Some good pulls. If you guys are hyped for the Legendary Collection 25th anniversary, make sure to let me know in the comments. We'll be opening a bunch on the channel, of course, and I'm sure you guys will be opening some as well. Should have some pre-orders with Sassy Auto coming out in mid-February, so look at, keep an eye out for that. I'm gonna have discount codes. We got base against that. Can we get the blue eyes? Furious Seeking, Teen Angel. Kagamusha the Blue Flame, Lesser Dragon, Petite Dragon, Silver Bow and Arrow. We got a Reaper of the Cards. This is what we pulled out of our first edition pack in the every pack opening. And Terra, the Terrible. I think that officially ends number two's chances, but we do have one more pack for number one. Legend of Blue Eyes, my Dragon. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four. You gotta believe in the Blue Eyes, White Dragon. We have Yame, Mazura's Yame. We got Dark World Thorns, Enchanting Mermaid. Kumutoko, Mizurizame, there it is, because I did the pack trick. Root Water, Umi, Reaper of the Cards again. That card loves me. It's a little scary because it's like, you know, it's like a death thing. So I've got to be careful around there. And then finally, we have a Urabi, one of the strongest monsters in here. That's a four star. It's 50 less than the Skull Red Bird. If you guys enjoyed this video and you're excited about the Legendary Collection 25th anniversary, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jantz, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.